Hi y'all, welcome back to my channel. My name is Shirley. Am I like mad greasy right now? The number of subscribers is... Thank y'all so much. I really do appreciate it. Thank you so much. I really truly, truly appreciate it. If you're new here, I am a New York City law student. And I'm actually preparing to take the bar exam. So welcome to my bar series. Kind of just updating y'all where I'm at. And yeah. I guess we'll start this series with takeaways so far on what I'm doing, what I've learned so far because I'm only on week one, day three. And I'm not gonna lie, it's very overwhelming. <laughs> the amount of material, the amount of information, just, I'm not, I'm not even touching another subject. I'm only on contracts. So if y'all don't know, the bar exam is, a uh, is an exam that most law students have to take to be admitted as attorneys and it is yeah it is scary <laughs> the recommended study time is eight to ten weeks 400 hours total of studying so make the math actually getting ready to go mini golfing with my boyfriend and his family <laughs> He literally had to convince me because I was just like, it's my first week, like, can I afford to do this, right? But I can, I studied enough, so yeah. So some takeaways. Number one, honestly, I have come to the acceptance that I just need to pass. I'm not gonna remember everything. I'm skimming through certain laws that I know are not going to be tested as often as other laws. Like I've just accepted my fate to be that I am going to just do the bare minimum to pass. And this is not me being like irresponsible. This is not me being like, you know, careless. It is actually recommended by bar prep companies just to do enough to pass because if you try to aim for perfectionism that's where you that's where you number two is i'm actually tracking my time very diligently and i am also categorizing my time between active and passive learning active learning would be like doing practice questions um reiterating the rules to yourself understanding the rules talking it out loud passive learning is watching lectures reading and so i and and the way you are able to retain information and learn information is really through active learning so i'm trying to like balance the bow balance both because obviously i need to know the law so i need to read i need to watch those lectures but i am making an effort to also um actively learn so what i find myself doing is once i'm done of the day once i'm done with the assignments for today for example i finished early at 1 p.m i like started doing practice questions on my own and i started creating my own kind of flashcards and just kind of talking myself through the rules just for me to like understand them and test them test them out number three is i am honestly not studying past 6 p.m that's kind of like my end point and i'm not trying to feel guilty about it even though i do look at some flashcards around 8 p.m while I'm watching tv with my mom but that's like very i don't, I don't count that as sitting but for me like cutting it off at six is very important because first i'm trying to emulate what the test is going to be like like the test is from 9 to 5 p.m so i'm be studying during those hours i'm trying to get my body used to that but then also it's just like I don't want to burn out and so this is kind of a way for me to check myself and not to do too much my boyfriend always tells me be careful don't no he doesn't always tell me but like he told me last time he was like checking in on me don't overwork yourself baby he is so sweet y'all I love this man so much I can't wait to see him I haven't seen him in I don't even know how long it's been so yeah those are kind of like the three things is that three ways I don't know Another small takeaways is fruit snacks help a lot. Taking like five minute breaks after doing work for an hour helps me a lot. Um, 
and then lastly i've been having issues sleeping so what i've what i've said in the discord group i made a discord group by the way if you want to join it let me know it's a woman focused group uh, just provide is a very small group so i i love it um we provide each other support i said in the discord that i've been having trouble sleeping so what i've been doing is like putting on a podcast and drawing literally drawing on a coloring book and that has helped me a ton because i feel like i end up like staying up at night and just thinking about every single every single wrong thing that i've done how i'm a failure like i just like think the worst things of myself so i don't know why i do that but i don't know okay so that's it y'all very short video because i am bar sitting i do want to say something though like i have this fear that i am gonna fail and i'm not trying to put this in the universe but it is like like that reality is like very real right and i'm just trying not to get this exam i'm not trying to get this exam to overwhelm me and to and if I fail, like, you know, it's por algo, like, God wanted it, and, you know, I have to accept that, but I I feel like that's just, like, my biggest fear right now, and I can't stop, and I'm the type of person, I think, worst case scenario for everything, so, yeah, I mean, if it happens, it happens, and I'll take it, <laughs> I hope not. I'm in day three and this is like really tough. Anyways, ciao, I love you.